guys I got another coding interview question for you today what I wanted to do in this video was to show you how to write a function to remove duplicate values from a string all right so imagine that we have this string here we have a string called words and we have various strings that are separated by spaces inside of this words um, variable here so we have door coffee floor dog dinosaur coffee car car money and floor and what I'm gonna do is to just show you how you will go about removing duplicate values from this string all right so I'm gonna go to Eclipse and this is the string right here now I'm just gonna zoom in okay so we have our string right here now in order to remove these duplicate values the first thing that we need to do is first of all put the put each one of the words that are in this words variable into some type of list all right so this is one way to do that you're gonna go string words array equals well, you actually want to create an array of this. We'll go like that. And then you'll go word. Words dot split. Now, for those of you who don't know what split is, it's basically used to split um, a string by a certain piece of regex. So basically what we're doing is we're splitting this entire words variable right here and we're splitting it by spaces and each one of those words are going to be placed into this array all right so after we do this we're gonna put each one of the words into the array and what we want to do now is actually create this thing that is called a hash set Now, for those of you who don't know what a hash set is, a hash set is basically a type of data structure that does not allow duplicate values. And that's what we want to use in order to make sure that we don't have any duplicates inside um, of this words um, variable. So basically, let me just finish writing this out. New hash set. All right, so we have our hash set created now. All right, so after we create our hash set, what we need to do is actually create ourselves this thing called a for each loop. All right, so we're gonna go for each, and then we're gonna go for every string x in words array we want to do something all right all right so what we want to do is actually go into this for each loop and let me just explain this a little bit in this for each loop we're gonna iterate through each string within this array. So for each string in this array, what we want to do is add this to the hash set. Okay, so we're going to first of all create ourselves a conditional statement. It's going to go if hs.add x equals true. Okay, so what this conditional is doing, it's basically checking whether or not the value that is entered in is a duplicate or not. So if we go hs.add x equals true, then that means that a particular string is going to successfully be added to this hash set. And if it is successfully added to this hash set, what we want to do is actually, well, before we even go into here, what we need to do is go up here and actually put words and set that equal to an empty string. Now the reason we're setting this to an equal string is because we wanna use the same variable in order to return words separated by spaces 
but we want to make sure that the words are not duplicated. So as you can see up here, we already have a words variable up here, but it's just that when we get down here, we want to empty the entire string, and then we're going to use the string once again down here in order to add the um, words that are separated by spaces, but the words will no longer contain duplicate values. All right, so we're gonna go words plus equals, and then we want to go x, okay? And then, but we also want to go plus space. So we want to add a space after each word here. So that's what we're doing. All right, so this pretty much is it. it so. What we want to do now is just print this out at the end, SYS, sys out, words, okay? Now before we even run it, let's just run through this one more time. As you can see in this original string, what we have, we're going to go to the beginning. We have door, coffee, floor, dog, dinosaur, coffee, car, car, money, and floor. So as you realize, there are some duplicate values that do show up coffee um, another thing is floor shows up multiple times so it shows up two times um, and car and car so when we run this application we shouldn't get any duplicate values so I want to go up here I want to save this is already saved and I just want to run this application and we're gonna see what we get at the bottom. So we have door, coffee, floor, dog, dinosaur, car, and money. So, as you realize here, there are no duplicate values that are returned, which means that we've successfully completed this coding interview question. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you on the next one.